Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be trying out a bunch of Instagram hyped products. Now these are products that I have seen all over Instagram and a lot of you recommended these to me when I asked you like what Instagram products do you think I should include in this video and I've got a lot of popular stuff. We're trying an Instagram bra today. We're going to see if it works. I actually have two of them because I was like, you know, if it's good, I need two colors. So I have nude and black, but today I'm going to try the nude one. That is what today's video is going to be on. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next. So if you want to see me try all of these Instagram hyped products and see if they're actually good products or not, <laughs> then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to try is this bra. Oh look, my highlight is kind of like looking a little cray cray right here. Alright, if you're wondering what I glow my shoulders and like my decollete with, it's the Marc Jacobs Do You Coconut Drops. And then also on my shoulders I add a little bit of this Tarte Spellbound Sprinkle Face and Body Glitter. This stuff. Gorgeous. So anyways, I'm going to try this out. I believe this was $19.99. I will include the price in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and let loose some of this right here. So I've taken it all the way down to the end. I'm a 36D and personally it's hard for me to find like sticky bras that actually work. I actually purchased one from Belk not too long ago. I think I got the double D one though and that fits perfectly. It's been like my go-to sticky bra. But I figured we would try this out because everybody from small boobies to big boobies loves this. At least from what I've seen. I have seen some horror stories on some sticky bras so just be careful trying these out if you get a rash or anything like that. Obviously, don't wear it again. I'll let you know in the comments how my boobs feel after this. So it does come with the two plastic sheets. If you run out of this, you can always use plastic wrap to line your sticky bra with. But always keep these so you can put them back on the sticky bra. Looks like glue. This like looks way stickier than the one that I have. So this little, these little holes are for your nipples, obviously. This is what the shirt looks like without the sticky bra. I'm not going to show you me putting it on because this is a PG channel you know what I'm saying but this is what it looks like with no sticky bra this top is from Lulu's by the way it is so cute so again this is without the sticky bra and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like with the sticky bra on okay so I'm back and this is what it looks like with the sticky bra on I feel like I'm a little crooked here this boob is bigger than this boob so that's just how the cookie crumbles around here I will say it does give you lots of volume and it really does lift um, I, I mean, I don't mind it. So I feel like my cleavage is just a little off, obviously, because this one's bigger. So I have more volume here than this one. Um, maybe I just need to pull this one over a little bit more. Let's see if I can do that right now. I will say it feels super secure. Like, we are locked in. Doesn't feel like it's going anywhere whenever you move. Um, so I actually like it. And I had to take it on and off just a couple times on this side of my boobs since it is smaller and like push it back more. I could get a nice lift out of this one as well. I actually like it and I didn't think I would like the sides of it. And if you have a larger chest, I do have some under boob right here. So just keep that in mind. If you um, are wearing a thinner shirt, you will be able to see the sticky bra. But if you have something like this or like a nice dress that you want to wear it with, you should be good to go. It's two thumbs up from me. The next thing we're going to try out is the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Again, this is the rose gold edition. I have seen this everywhere. I have had my eye on this palette for a really long time. I think it is just so beautiful. Like the colors and everything, I just think it is really stunning. And I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on it, so I'm interested to see what I think about it. You guys know I love the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette and like all of her eyeshadow palettes. That's like the one brand I will spend a lot of money on because I just love those eyeshadows. I know they're going to be amazing. The price of this is $65, so it is more affordable than the Natasha Denona one, but we'll have to see what the quality is like. I will say the packaging is gorgeous. I love this see-through. I love that you can see all the colors. Also, I want to let you guys know that I am working on getting a zoom lens. I actually have one right here that is so nice, but I need to find an adapter for this camera, so I bought one. It should be here next week, um, but I will be zooming you guys in more very, very soon, so just stay tuned. I, I am working on it, I promise. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is take the color Bay, which is a nice cream shade, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Okay, so this is what Bay looks like. It's more of a yellow toned cream color. It's pretty nice. Bay? Yes, Bay. And now I'm going to take sandalwood and put this into my crease. I have 
a new lip product, so I need to try to coordinate with how pretty this is. This is Bella from Lip Sense. So I'm going to go in with the shade Henna right here, and I'm going to put this into the crease. Ooh, that is a really pretty color. This is a perfect color for people who want to try red toned eyeshadows but are a little bit scared. I feel like everything's blending pretty well. I don't think this is a bad palette. Um, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen a review on this palette and I can't remember what people disliked about it. But so far, everything's going pretty well. We're just going to do something fairly easy. We're going to use one of these really shimmery shades right here because, you know, I can't stay away from these kind of shades, you know. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Man Eater because this is just a really pretty color. And I'm going to put this from the outer V all the way to about mid-lid. The same brush. I will say Man Eater and this color kind of look similar on the lid. That's my opinion. I mean, this one's a little bit more bright, but I still feel like they're pretty similar. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Black Truffle with another blending brush. I will say I have the Natasha Denona um, Blackest Black Eyeshadow. I used that the very first time I went back to wearing makeup again after moving, and it was so easy to work with. Crazy. I mean, the best black eyeshadow ever. So this has to, like, you know, be really good. <laughs> I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it right here in the outer V. I like it. I think it's a nice black. It's not too intense, but definitely deepens up the outer V. And I'm going to take Man Eater again, which is that really pretty in between shade. And I'm just going to blend the edges. I feel like I definitely have to blend a lot, but then again, I am doing a very intense smoky eye, so it's always just about blending. Blend, blend, blend. Moving on, we're going to take the shimmer eyeshadows, and I'm first going to try them without a glitter glue. Just because I want to see what they, you know, how they wear, how they apply. But if it doesn't work out, I will go back in with a glitter glue. So I'm going to take this shade, Rose Gold, and just go along with the theme we have going on. Which is pretty, ooh, it's pretty chunky. I mean, I want you guys to see how chunky it is. What it looks like right there. I don't know. Can you see like the chunks of glitter just sitting there? It's not like a all over pigment and I've dipped my brush in here quite a few times and it's not coating the brush. Like you could still see the bristles of the brush. Maybe this is the part where people don't like the palette. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Ooh, that's not good at all. Okay, your finger picks up more, but it's still fairly chunky. Like I'm really not digging into it. Oh yeah, the, your finger is like the way to go. But I have these long ass nails now and I like don't know how to function. Fingers is the way to go. If you don't have nails, you'll probably be able to dig into it. But uh, it's not the case for me. I don't think a glitter glue is going to help this because it doesn't even deposit on the brush really well. And then we're going to call it quits on this one. Um, I'll touch up my lower lash line when we end the video, but for now, I think that is enough. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and move on to face. I have the Farsali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum, and it says this innovative solution acts as a dual purpose serum which infuses the skin with beneficial skincare while prepping it for layering moisturizer or makeup application. It contains four super fruit extracts, rich in antioxidants and packed with vitamin C, which helps make the skin appear visibly younger and healthy looking. Apply to clean face before moisturizer may be used as a primer before makeup application. Okay, this says you can use this as a primer. That's what we're gonna do today. I have seen this absolutely everywhere and I've just been so interested to try it out. I know this girl is like huge on Instagram. Um, I forget her name, but her and her husband created this brand and it's just huge. I think that's awesome that they're in Sephora. Woo, so pretty. I'm going to do what she does because I watch her videos. Mm, it's, what does this smell like? Oh my God, it smells like something from my childhood. It smells really, really good. It feels really good too. We're going to see how it wears for application. I am just going to go ahead and go in with foundation um, because I feel like this 
made my skin feel really hydrated and nice and it's kind of matte as well so I'm gonna go in with the hourglass vanish foundation stick now I've tried this a few times with my regular primers and things like that and I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of this foundation I've tried it twice I figured for this video I would try it one more time because I haven't tried it on camera yet so this is what it looks like I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere this is the stick foundation from them I don't know why this is like messed up on the top but it is this is in the shade warm beige hopefully this will be okay for me I'm gonna do half of my face really quick and we're gonna see the difference in the two sides so I'm just gonna blend this in okay this is looking good now I feel like this color is pretty much everything it's a little dry believe it or not for my oily skin this is a little dry but that's what half my face looks like. This actually looks better than the first time I ever tried it. I'm actually really shocked right now. I did not think I was going to like the first application. And I didn't like it when I first tried it because it was like clinging to dry patches and separating. But right now, this is looking really good. And it has been a while since I've tried it, so maybe my skincare is like helping a lot. But look at that. I'm not going to use a beauty blender with this because I already know I'm not going to like it. So... We're just going to use a brush because it's easier to blend out and it gives a better finish. Is it the Farsali oil? Is it the skincare? Also, a lot of people ask me why I have hair on my face. It's peach fuzz. You know, it's natural. <laughs> uh, I don't really care if I have peach fuzz on my face. I know some people like wax it, shave it off, you know, and that's totally fine. Sometimes I shave mine too, but to me, it's no big deal. You know, everybody has it. I cannot believe how good this looks right now. And I'm just freshly self-tanned, by the way. And warm beige is a great color for me. I use Loving Tan, Self Tanner, and Ultra Dark. That was good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. What do I have left? I have this. Oh, I was supposed to do this, but I think this takes forever. Yeah, 45 minutes. I'm not doing that. All right, so now we're going to be using the Cake and Bake Sponge for our concealer and to bake the face. It says to wet it with water until completely saturated, squeezing out excess liquid. Pick up liquid or powder makeup products at the top or bottom flat edge and apply to conceal or bake. So I'm just going to apply my concealer like I normally do and then blend it out with that sponge because if I'm going to use a sponge, that's how I'm going to use it. You know what I mean? Or like the, I don't think uh, I like the feel of that. The Sweet Sweat Band that you yeah so it feels it looks like this it's not as bouncy I would say as the beauty blender but we're just gonna take this side like it says to and blend this out one thing I will say it's getting close to that lower lash line I like that you can sharpen out your eyeshadow and clean that up. And you can also come through here and get into the creases of your nose and contour. So even though it's not as bouncy as the Beauty Blender, I actually really like it. So I'm going to be using the Cinema Secrets Pro Cosmetics Ultra Lucent Setting Powder to bake with today. So we're going to just follow where we put all that concealer. I feel like with this sponge it's looking a little chunky, like the powder is a little chunky, but it's applying it, so that's all that matters. You just kind of have to tap it out a little bit more. And now I'm going to use the Wonder Brow. I've had this forever now. I even got it in the shade Brunette when I was Brunette, so that's how long you know I've had it. Um, but it looks like it'll be okay for my blonde hair. It says, Wonder Brow is a complete, safe, one-step solution to eyebrow shape and hair loss. It's exclusive permafix technology and a hair fiber complex creates the perfect brow in less than two minutes that will last you until you decide to take it off. It contains an exclusive blend of hair-like fibers combined with specifically treated pigments designed to fasten onto skin and hair. So it does come with a spoolie. You don't have a brush with this other than the brush that actually comes on it. Let's just see how you're supposed to apply this. Start by using Wonder Brow to fill in the sparse spots with short feathery strokes, applying the direction of hair growth. You can start by applying just to problem areas or over the entire brow for a fuller, more defined looking brow. First, I'm gonna apply it with the brush, but for the most part, I'm probably gonna go in with my actual brush to apply it and get that nice shaped brow that I like. So 
is not turning out as bad as I thought. I'm more nervous about the inner corner right here. Okay, actually this thing is not bad. It says while it's still wet, you're supposed to brush through it, which is what I did. So I guess it just dries down and then it's permanent. Well, not permanent, but you know, it lasts all day. So far, I really like this product. I think it's awesome. And the fact that it actually is pretty easy to apply with this brush on here, giving it a two thumbs up for me because I find that really intriguing. And it does come with a spoolie if you want it. Yeah, these are starting to really dry down. I'm digging my face makeup today. Look at that. Oh my God, I just, I can't. This is such a good video. Something's bound to go wrong, right? I am so impressed. What else do I have to try? Anything else that's good? I think the last thing that I have to try for you guys is this lip sense. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my face makeup off camera and then I will be back to share with you this lip sense product. Okay guys, so I'm back to finish up this video and try out lip sense. I have heard so many things about lip sense. Not necessarily like details of what it does. I just have had so many of you ask me to try this out. So I did get mine off of Amazon and I also got this Lip Sense Oops Remover. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's like really long wearing so I figured I would get this too. But basically it's a long lasting liquid lip color and it says to apply in one direction beginning with the outside corner of the mouth, apply three layers, letting each dry three to five seconds, finished with your favorite Lip Sense gloss. So I'm guessing this is a matte shade. I could be wrong. By the way, don't mind how self tan my hands are. I tried out a new self tanner before I used Loving Tan last night and it was a mess. I'm just going to go in. It says apply from outside corner of the mouth. Huh. It feels really cooling, like very cooling. When I apply it and breathe in, I kind of feel like I'm breathing in chemicals. Like for real, I feel like I'm inhaling. Feels weird. It's feeling very dry. Can you guys see how dry that looks right in there? The bottom lip looks good, but the top lip looks very dry. I stopped it too, just because I really, I don't know, it's making me feel a little uh, uneasy, like feeling that scent in the back of my throat. I get really self-conscious about my throat closing. Oh, this is like sticking. My throat closing and things like that. So when I feel like I can feel something in the back of my throat, it just freaks me out. So that's just me. I mean, you could be different. Oh my God. This is so sticky. It's definitely been like three to five seconds. I'm going to just top it with this Mariah Carey gloss in Dream Lover. I'm not obsessed with the color. Okay guys, so that is everything for this video. I have to say I really enjoyed all of the products, minus the lip sense. The lip sense is kind of like not my thing, just the scent of it I think I'm not enjoying. Let me know what you like from lip sense. Leave it down below in the comments. Do you like the lip gloss better? Do you like the liquid lip? Definitely let me know your experience with that. I do really like the Wonder Brow. I think it looks great. And I also really enjoyed the Farsali Unicorn Drops. I did not think I was gonna like this, but I think it actually works really great as a primer. And it sinks into the skin really quickly and it feels very hydrating and it smells so good. Loving the Instagram bra. I mean, my boobs have some volume. As well as this cake bake sponge. I think this is awesome. It blended everything out so easily. This foundation, look at my skin. This foundation is insane. I know I told you guys earlier that I've tried this before, but honestly, I did not think I was going to like this. Like, I for sure thought I was going to try it for the third time and be like, ew, I don't like it, as always. But I really enjoyed it, especially with this brush. It doesn't accentuate pores. It makes me look flawless. It's full coverage. So, so far, this might be a new winner. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated. The Huda Beauty Palette, I really do like the mattes in this. I feel like everything could blend just a little bit better for the price. And I think these colors right here necessarily aren't the best, but they're a little too chunky and difficult to work with. If you're going to use it, I recommend using your fingers with it. Um, I don't even think a glitter glue would help just because it's so chunky and it's even hard to get it on the brush. I'm not impressed with these and the mattes are really nice but like I said I wish they blend a little bit better but I do like the palette. I think the palette's really pretty but the shimmer shades definitely could use some work. I think that needs to be worked on. But all in all I love the way my makeup looks. I will have a pinned comment down below letting you know a final thought on these products what I thought. If the Instagram bra gave me a rash, if the foundation broke up and looked gross, if the eyeshadow creased, I will let you guys know everything down below in that comment as well 
well as if the brow product stayed in place. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. It was probably a long one, but I had so much fun doing this. And if you want me to continue to do Instagram Made Me Buy It videos, give this video a thumbs up and I will keep doing them for you. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.